What I really like about Manukau campus is that it's close to home. It's a really tight-knit family here. Everybody knows each other. Uh, we know our lectures really well and all the staff. The lecturer was right there. They were there to support you. The lecturers here are awesome. We all know them, they know us. I'm surprised when I walk in the office and they call me by name because I think, you know, there must be so many other students, but they know us all individually and they're there to help. There were mentoring sessions as well where the year ahead of us would help us with any assignments that were coming up. Tutorials are quite intimate, so we actually get quite involved with what we're doing. It's interactive. Our cohort was very supportive of each other. To this day, we still have our Facebook page where we contact each other and ask each other questions about anything in regards to teaching. When I finish my lectures, I'm pretty much straight away driving across town to go get my kids, which makes this campus so convenient. It takes me about 10 minutes. My routine when I get home is pretty much my kids. It's getting them ready, getting their homework done, giving them dinner. If it's a nice day and we have a bit of time, I might take them to the playground. My study itself doesn't really start until they go to bed. On a normal week, I might stay up till about 10 or 11 o'clock at night, just getting in a few readings and what they need to do. When I was on my first youth camp, we all had to sit around in a circle and tell everybody what we wanted to be when we grow up. Everyone went around and they were saying, you know, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a lawyer. And it got to me and I said, I wanted to be a teacher. And all the girls laughed. And then it wasn't until I had kids that I realised, actually, I don't care. I, I do want to be a teacher. So it's taken me a good 10, 15 years to really decide that this is what I want to do, so this is why I'm here now.